Good afternoon. Yeah. Sorry, uh, don't mind my camera. Yeah, yes. I'm doing my like YouTube channel. Oh, yeah. yes. yes. Good afternoon. Yeah. Sound to be drill. <laughs> this thing is. <laughs> yeah, you're nice one, seriously. Yeah, thank you. Where's my eating stuff? Yeah, I'm not really showing your face. Oh, do you want your face to show? No, don't show my face. <laughs> no, no. How much? 3K. Take the charge from this. So it's better to withdraw instead of going to queue at the bank because queuing at that bank eh, no be no be smart thing. <laughs> hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be taking you guys on a drive to Ogwete Main Market, Enugu State, Nigeria. So guys, right now we're at Independence Layout and this is 1 p.m. So this is how independent layout is by 1 p.m. As you can see, there is no traffic. Enugu State is not known for traffic, especially around the side. So now I'm going to I'm going to walk down just so that I can show you guys a bit of places before I catch my ride. So as you can see, Enugu State is a beautiful city, and there you no know, we have lots of kekes on the road. We have a lot of green, nice vegetation. So guys, by this side you are going to see the National Library. Yeah, this is the National Library. People come here to read and do all kinds of research. And by the opposite side of the road, you see Lady Ibiam. Lady Ibiam is an all-girls secondary school. That's the blue signboard um, there. So this is Top Rank Hotel. And as you can see, there's a water tanker there delivering water. So in Enugu State, you can't really just have a bottle. You have to buy water. And a tank of water, like a tanker of water, goes for 4,000 Naira. 4,000 Naira for water. So now you can say the waste bin. The waste bin here in Enugu, we don't really pay for like waste. You just come out and throw your debt into these bins. It's really free. That's it. So guys, this is the road leading to Ongponkiti and we're going to be passing the IMT, that's Institute of Management and Technology. This is the Polytechnic here in Enugu State. And as you can see, um, it's a, it's, the school is okay. If you are thinking of applying to a Polytechnic, this is it, IMT. If you attended IMT, please leave it in the comment section. And this is Liberty Estate. I love how green everywhere is. So now this is House on the Rock. In case you are House of the Rock member, we have a branch here in Enugu State. This place was this place is actually called MSP, but I heard they have moved, but you know, 
trademarks landmarks don't just move like that so yes they called msp and towards this road there are a lot of schools here in Inugu. if you go down 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 you get to university of nigeria Inugu campus so this place while heading towards afia 9 right now this corner here where the kekes are that is called afia 9 you can go for your household shopping they sell food in that market and near close to here we have jam some people call it city some people call it jam then this blue fence belongs to Queen's Secondary School, Enugu. It is also an all-girls secondary school here in Enugu. Enugu were real advocates for education, so we have a lot of schools here in Enugu, a lot of affordable schools. So you can see the how beautiful here is. There are a lot of trees. I'm sure there are some major cities, they don't even have trees again. Like, I'm not even exaggerating, but Enugu State still has that culture of planting trees. There are a lot of green everywhere. So now you can see there are some old houses. One thing about an old city are the old houses because everybody can just pull down their old houses to build new design. Look at the old houses. A lot of family grew up here, you know, they trained their children here. But at the same time, a lot of people still come here to buy and sell. As you can see, there are a lot of food sellers here. There are also a lot of offices, complexes different things business offices anything you want Inugu people are there for you whether it's corporate work anything we're here so as you can see um this place is really beautiful and i just love it like i can't even deny i love this place from the old cars you no know, the first time i came to Inugu, i saw some real old cars i've never seen those saloon 544 cars like i was so shocked i couldn't believe it <laughs> What's one thing you love about Enugu State or something you are attached to? Just leave it in the comment section if you have ever been to Enugu State or you love to, you know, visit Enugu State. So you guys can see this bus right here now, this small way bus, this long bus. Hmm. You know, eh, in my four years of being in this Enugu State, I've never for once entered that bus. I always hear um, that the bus goes to Agbani Road, this big long bus. I just can't imagine entering the bus because I feel like I'm going to miss my bus stop if I enter that bus. The bus is so long and the bus is always so packed up. The bus is always so packed. So you, imagine I'm at the back now and I'm telling the driver, Oga Apo, Oga Apo, and the driver is not hearing me and he passed my bus stop. <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen to me or that day. So I've never entered that bus as 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 impossible as it seems. So now we're getting close to Holy Ghost. We're getting close to Holy Ghost Market. But we're still you see okay now you can see the what's the name of this thing? Is this sculpture or <laughs> a landmark? So this is the a beginning of the market, but obviously people don't really sell here. This part of the market, we're going to be seeing a lot of mass transit. So in case you want to travel, just come here. We have GUO, God is Good, um, Ekesin, Okesin, Ifesinachi, any bus, anywhere you're going to in Nigeria, whether you're going to Lagos, Abuja, Kafanchan, anywhere, just come to Holy Ghost and catch a ride. Just get, just come to Holy Ghost and you get a bus to wherever it is you're going to. So now that is the one side of Holy Ghost. And I'm sure you might be wondering, someone here might be wondering, why do you call here Holy Ghost? There's actually a Holy Ghost Cathedral on the other side of the road. So the church, I think the church was one of those first landmarks in this area, the Holy Ghost Cathedral. It is a Catholic church. So now this whole area is called Holy Ghost. <laughs> so now um, there's a bit of ghost law here because we're close to the market. And if you can see, there are a lot of people begging. The Enugu State Government have tried to eradicate street begging, but to no avail. So because I love my subscribers so much, I decided to go up so I can get an aerial view of Oboete Market. And this is what you get. So ensure you subscribe and share my video to your friends and your family. This is the aerial view of Oboete. It's so difficult holding a camera in the market because everybody will just be asking you funny, funny questions. <laughs>
thank you so much for watching to this point please ensure you subscribe and share my video to your friends thank you so much bye